Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your business hits video of the day. Now in this video, I want to talk to you and I want to share with you on how to go about uh, building multiple streams of income online. Now there is a common, there are two common mistakes that I believe people make and there are two things in particular that I believe people need to focus on in order to start building those multiple streams of income. Now, understand that this video that I'm bringing you, I'm bringing it to you from training that I've been through from six and seven figure earners, even eight figure earners, but more importantly, from mistakes that I've made online myself in the past. Like for example, the best best sales funnel that I've ever put together generated close to 10,000 US dollars. I believe it was uh, just over 9,000. I can't remember the exact amount in 48 hours, right? That was the, the best uh, stream that I built and I built it following these these four things in particular are either two things not to do and the two things to do so I'm, I'm bringing you some experience on, on on this part and I did it online and I also want to share with you what I've learned along the way not just from my mistakes but also from studying the greats that are actually doing this right so first off the biggest mistakes that people make number one is trying to build out many at once now I understand the lore of this video what probably caught your attention immediately is the simple fact that I'm talking about multiple streams of income right I mean majority of people are probably sitting there going holy shit like you can actually have multiple streams of income understand that that that's because you've got kind of like an employee mindset and that's something that you need to work towards if you really want to be an entrepreneur because one of the beauties online is being able to build something once and it pays you forever. Now, I've used this uh, example in, in past videos where I put together a video once, right, about a niche that I was involved in previously. I, I no longer do this, right, but something that I was involved with in the past. <clears throat> I created one video, I put it up on YouTube on my channel, right, and that one video led me one customer, right, and that one customer netted me over two and a half thousand dollars in profit, right, and that was in two transactions. Two transactions, right? This this person um, became a customer and basically a, a friend of mine after the multiple conversations we've had. So, and, and that again, that comes that comes from the power of being able to build something so beautiful on not, not beautiful, sorry, so powerful online. Because the beauty of online is that when you create something once, you get paid forever. Now, one one of the problems that I have with a traditional business per se. And, uh, and having a job is that you get paid to do the job and then that's it. You never get paid again, right? One of the things that I love most online is exactly what I'm talking about here, is being able to build that stream of income, right? Build that sales funnel and it pays you forever. As long as you keep it up, you can still be getting paid. I mean, shit, there were projects that I started like seven, eight years ago that I still get paid to to this day, right? I still get money for it. That's the beauty of building an online business, right? So <clears throat> the, uh, problem number two is, uh, in my opinion, is that uh, being a product flogger. Now, this is a term that I'm actually going to coin, right, because I'm the only one that uses it. And basically what that is is someone who just flogs products off, right? Like all they do is try and sell shit to people. Now, one of the most disappointing things that you'll find online, and I'm sure if, you, if you've had an online business yourself, you'll agree with this, is that... When you join someone's list, right, like you found like a content video that you thought was great or you found a blog post that you thought was great or you found some value in their Facebook feed that you thought was great and so you opt in for their free offer, right, i.e. lead magnet, right, or content upgrade or whatever you want to call it. You opt in and then you join this list and you're kind of excited because you're like, wow, shit, this is actually pretty good. I, I like this guy. I like what he's put out there. So, and then you find out that, I mean, Within like the first week out of those seven emails, you get pitched like seven times, right? Or you get sold or you, they try and sell you like the latest product on Monday and then by Thursday, they're trying to sell you the next latest product and by Sunday, i.e. day seven, they're trying to sell you the next latest product, right? I have been through this process myself. I've seen it a numerous number of times and it's what majority of people do, right? But the road less traveled is what's actually gonna make the difference for you. Many people are trying to flog so many products. They're just trying to sell shit. Like they're so desperate to make money online that they just sell shit. Whatever the latest thing is that they can try and flog off there is, that someone might be interested in, 
that they might be able to make like a $20 commission from JVZoo or a $50 commission from ClickBank. That's what they're going to try and do. They're, good. they're going to try and flog it off as quick as they possibly can to try and make some money thinking that that's the way of actually building a business. No, that's not a business. That's you hustling virtually, right? And I don't know about you, but I don't want to hustle for the rest of my life. Fuck that. I'd rather I'd rather take like a week or two or even a month or three months to build a strong sales funnel, a proper stream of income, and forget about it for the rest of my life. And it pays me forever, okay? So, uh, the second part to this, to this, part, to this uh, video, sorry, is what you should focus on instead of those two things that I've talked about previously, right? One being trying to build out um, uh, multiple at once, and two, being a product follower. So, follower. so the, the, the things that you should be doing, the very first thing is, a, is an obvious one, is focus on one at a time. And this is a mistake that I've made in the past where I've tried to set up like multiple shit at the same time. And what's actually happened is, instead of mastering one, instead of creating one to complete excellence, like what I do now, right, where I really hone in on a particular strategy until I've actually got it down before I move on to the next thing, right, what I was doing was trying to build out this. Oh yeah, I'll just quickly post this link here, or I'll just quickly make this video and post this, that there. No, it's it's not really the way to go about doing it. The way that the masters do it, the way that the guys that really make money, the way they actually do it is they focus on one thing. They really smash it until they go to a point where it's good, great, excellent, amazing, right? Before they move on to the next thing. Okay, so I'm gonna urge you to do the same thing. Figure out what's the one thing that's probably gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck, or the other, the, that's point A, sorry, or point B is try and figure out what is going to, what is going to give you the quickest returns with the least amount of work, right? Because then you can start generating some income, then you won't be so desperate per se, so then you can focus on the bigger projects that's actually going to take some real time and effort, all right? So if you do those two things, it's really going to help you build out your focus on that one particular thing, so you can actually start generating some real income online, okay? If that makes any sort of sense, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or some sort of an emoji. So... The second thing is to be a product of the product, right? A lot of a lot of mistakes that I see online is that people aren't actually products of what they're trying to sell. They're trying to sell the shit to make money, but they don't necessarily believe in it, right? And I, I, I'm telling you guys right now, trust is the biggest factor. It is the biggest thing to buying, especially online. Like people are literally sitting in front of their phones or their computer and they're not just gonna buy shit from you because you say so, or they're not just gonna buy shit from you because you put a link out there. Like, it's not gonna happen. You might get like one in a thousand people who like click out of curiosity, and then you might get like one out of those, you know, 50 people that actually click, if you can even get that many clicks, that might go, hmm, this is interesting, and actually buy it, right? I've done it before. I've seen people flogging links all over the place, uh, clicked on the link just out of curiosity, saw a product, well, that's pretty interesting. It's a $70 product and bought it, right? And I'm sure they got their 50% commission and that's fine. But that's the rare occasion, okay? That will, that's not something to rely upon. Okay, so what you want to do instead is be a product of the product. Like, for example, what I promote, right, is all about online marketing, teaching people how to make money with their business. Now, I don't really care whether you're involved in what I do or if you're involved in what you do. It doesn't really matter. What really matters is that you learn how to market your business like a professional. And by professional, I'm not talking about, you know, someone sitting there with a suit and tie. No, I'm talking about someone who has an actual strategy, right? Not tips and tricks, not techniques and all these kinds of things that you see online now. An actual content marketing business-based strategy that you can follow long-term that's going to give you some real returns so you can actually build an asset known as a business. Something that you can leverage for the rest of your life, right? Not just trying to hustle and grind and trying to make money from people at this moment in time, forgetting about the long-term view and really treating people like actual people. Guys, remember, the people that buy from you online, they're actual people. They're not just transaction numbers. They're just not clicks, right? They're, they're, they're not just some name on, on, on a screen I known as Facebook or Instagram. They're actual people you need to give a fuck about in order to actually try and make a difference for them, right? Understand that they're actual people and you need to help. You need, really need to help them. And the best way to do that is to be a product of the product. I'm not sitting here uh, <clears throat> preaching to you to study on a daily basis. I'm not sitting here preaching to you to, to blog, to create content, to, to lead with value, right? I do all of that stuff first. 
And then I recommend it to you because I know that this is a strategy to follow that's actually gonna help you build a legitimate business online long term. Okay, so be a product of the product. Let me give you a quick example before I let you go. If you went to a, your local gym, right, and you were thinking about losing weight and two guys came up to you, or girls, whatever the case may be, right, it doesn't really matter. They come up to you and, and they say, hey, look, we, we, we want to be your personal trainer. We know that we can help you lose weight. One of them is 40 kilos overweight. One of them has a, has six pack abs, you know, arms out to here, and looks like they could be a model on a fucking magazine. Who are you gonna sign up with, right? There is your moment. I'm really hoping a light bulb just went off. There is what you need to apply to, to your business, right? And what I've tried my best to apply to my business, right? If you're going to actually uh, be uh, be able to build multiple streams of income online, you need to focus on one, and then you need to be a product of the actual product. So you need to be an example of what people can become by using what it is that you're currently using. If you're going to preach health, be healthy. If you're going to preach fitness, be fit, right? Be skinny, or, or not not necessarily skinny, but you know what I mean, like athletic, right? If you're going to, if say for example, you you want you want people to come to you as a coach. You want, you want to be like a success coach. You want to be motivational. You want to be inspirational. Then be a motivation. Be an inspiration, right? No one's going to pay someone who sits on Facebook or Instagram and bitches all day long. No one's going to pay them to, to motivate them and, and help them try and be successful. Because you know for a fact, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, nah, this, this person really is just a loser. They're just sitting there bitching and moaning and complaining. There's no fucking way that they can help me get to the next level, all right? Focus on one thing at a time, build it out, like build an actual stream so you can start making some money online. And then two, be a product of the product, right? Be an example for what people can become by following you and what it is that you actually do. And that way you'll actually build some trust, all right? And that's how you go about building multiple streams and then come online. So you just replicate those things again and again and again in each model you get involved with starting with one, and then two, and then three, and then four, all right? I hope that makes sense. If it does, go ahead and give me a like. Uh, subscribe to my channels, whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook, make sure you subscribe so that you get notifications of these videos as I produce them on a daily basis. I really love bringing this content to you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate your time. I know it's valuable, but I guarantee you these insights that I bring you on a daily basis, this is shit that I'm studying. This is experience that I'm gaining through business. I am I'm giving you my everything, right? I want to out-teach everybody else out there. So you know when you need an answer, you can turn to me and I'll be able to provide it for you, okay? Thank you thank you so much again for stopping by watching this video. Peace out, much love. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you all again soon.